Hi and welcome to another Streamlabs OBS video. It's a tutorial video. I'm Machine Dana. Thanks a lot for being here and I hope you're doing really, really well. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going into more detail about one specific uh, Streamlabs OBS CloudBot module and that is the Heist minigame module. Just briefly, how to set it up and what preferences you can set and how you can get the most from that particular module on your stream. Uh, if you don't know, modules are a really good way of improving the interactivity on your stream. Um, not just the interactivity between the viewer and you, but also the viewers among themselves, uh, team games, dueling, gambling, that kind of thing. It's really, really good way of implementing extra loyalty, interactivity, and ultimately stickiness and popularity on your stream. So. Um, I would strongly recommend just setting some of these things up. You don't have to do them all. You can choose the ones that you really like, the different modules. I've done a load of other videos about the modules themselves, an overview video, but also every single module one by one and how you can set them up to get the most from them. So please feel free to browse my videos if you're interested in setting those up. If you do find this video useful, please feel free to drop a little like on the video. It will help somebody else that is searching for the heist mini game module setup to find this video. And that's obviously a really good thing. If you want to see more tips, tricks, hints, tutorials, or just general chit chat about uh, Streamlabs, about streaming, about Twitch, please feel free to drop a little subscribe as well. I do stream most days between 6 and 12 UK time at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Feel free to drop me a follow and I might give you a little follow back. As well. Without further ado, let's get into it. So assumingly by now, most of you have already downloaded Streamlabs OBS and you've perhaps done some streams through Streamlabs OBS. You more than likely will have also set up an account on streamlabs.com. You will need to do both of those two things. So uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, and Streamlabs the online widgets, they basically work in unison with each other to then integrate different functions into the streaming experience to then push that out to Twitch as the viewing experience for, for the user, for the consumer of your content. What you need to do here is click on CloudBot and make sure that the CloudBot toggle is turned on. You then need to go on to your own chat, be that YouTube, be that Twitch, be that Facebook gaming, whatever, forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat. That should then mod Streamlabs. And along with being toggled, turned on for CloudBot, then means that these modules in this tab here are then able to be activated and configured and used on your stream. So the final thing you will need to do for the Heist mini game is make sure that this toggle is turned on like that. So with the Heist mini game, essentially the users, your viewers, are able to type exclamation point Heist space and then an amount of points and that then has a message and other people can join that heist other users can join that heist they basically all do a heist together and they can potentially win so it allows your viewers to work together and go on an adventure to earn extra loyalty points so the heist mini game directly works in tandem with your loyalty points system i have done another tutorial on how to set up the loyalty points system but long story short, you've got to ensure that it's enabled here. You give it a name and you give it some metrics that will allow people to actually earn over time some loyalty points. So once the people are earning some loyalty points, that then allows them to join the heist minigame. So to, to do the settings for this, you need to go on preferences. First of all, you need to set what the costs and parameters are. So we'll just quickly run through these. The minimum entries, you can decide minimum or maximum well the minimum number of people you you want to be involved in a heist you may decide that actually you don't want a heist to take place on your stream unless there's like a minimum of three people you can say that there's a max amount the start delay so there's normally a delay before the heist actually starts and it gives other users a chance to join that heist by typing the exclamation point heist command we'll run through commands in a second so there's a delay and there's also a cooldown so this is the cooldown before a new heist can start so these are just the chances to win. So I think what this is, is the user's chance to win on the heist. And all it means is that you can increase the likelihood of somebody winning heists if they are a subscriber or if they're a moderator or just a viewer. So this is a 75% chance of winning. It means one in every four the viewers will. But you might say actually a mod will be like, I don't know, 85% and a subscriber will be 90% likely to win on the heist, okay? 
maybe reduce this down to 60 if you're a viewer. And that gives you something to talk about on stream, or you could even set up a command that gives that information out to people. And it might just encourage people to subscribe or maybe ask to be a mod on your channel and that sort of thing. Then we got winner's payout. Uh, you can incentivize to say, right, I want mods to be paid out a little bit more and I want subscribers to be paid out a little bit more and viewers perhaps a little bit less. So that's what the, the payout structure then is. You click save settings on that. So we've now set the parameters for the heist itself. It's now turned on and we know what the command is to kind of join the heist. We'll go into commands in a little bit more detail in a second. What you can now do is customize the messages that people get. So there's on first entry for the start, on a successful start. So that's when there's enough people on the heist. If there's not enough people on the heist, then it will do the failure message. So you can just customize these messages if you want um, to join. Uh, I don't know, jump into the fun or I don't know, whatever you want to do. I tend to really like putting uh, some emojis into the descriptions. It just makes it pop a little bit and a little bit more interactive. So, I mean, I haven't done it on this particular one, but I do in most of the things that I, uh, that I do. Uh, I do add the emojis. So that's your start messages. You've then got a results messages, which is just the straightforward results, but you could just customize that a little bit more, like congratulations, here is the results. But the thing is, if you write congratulations and nobody's won, then maybe that's the wrong word to use. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you like sarcasm on your stream and that's also okay. So if it's a solo message, you can do a, a win or a loss for the so a solo person and then uh, group messages as well. So this is just lists the results and this will do uh, specific messages if it's solo or, or if it's group messages. So on defeat or on a partial victory, that's if some people win and some people lose. Or if everyone wins, it will be this message here. A celebration with a chest full of gold and a belly full of rum. Maybe if the people are underage, you might not want to put the rum bit in there. I don't know. I don't know how PC your streams are. So you can customize all those messages and save settings. And now all you simply have to do is let, let me just go on the commands. On the commands section, you can add custom commands. And I've done a separate video on how to set up commands and timers. But you've also got these default commands as well. And these are all the different default things that you can do with the CloudBot function. Um, and you've got this heist here. So you can customize that specific command. You might not want to call it a heist. You might want to call it like a, I don't know, a bank rob or a, a, a loot fest or something like that. Um, and you can then just literally edit that the command and obviously the response message to that, the re replies, and then a little bit more about any aliases. So you might want to call it something like, I don't know, a raid or something like that. And that allows it to have multiple names for the same function. So people can use multiple commands for this, essentially the same thing. Uh, I'll just close that. I'm going to leave that as uh, exclamation point heist. And the reason is, me personally, uh, I'm, I'm not customizing my heist to a particular high level yet. And therefore, I would prefer people to know what the global settings are. Most people that have used Streamlabs and that watch streamers know that the command, but it does give you the option to be able to come up, customize this to a much sort of more sophisticated probably more engaging, loyal, fun, stupid, sarcastic, awesome level. And then simply all you have to do is, if you're a user, if you're a viewer, you will simply go into chat and type, I'm hosting oh someone. Attempt, attempt, attempt. <laughs> I'm hosting someone at the moment, so I'll just, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm actually in my chat here, so that's okay. So what I wanna do is just type exclamation point heist, and you'll see that turned on. The game is turned on. Ah, so the, the mistake I've actually made there, for which is ridiculous for a tutorial video, but there you go. It's good for illustration purposes here. The mistake I've made there is I've only put command heist, but actually I need to put an amount of points. 100 is within the minimum. What's happened here is I've got a, an automated message back from Streamlabs Online uh, CloudBot. CloudBot has come back and said, Ahoy, Captain Machine Dana is trying to get a crew together for a treasure hunt type heist command and then the amount to join and jump into the fund. So anyone else can join with their own custom amount and then they'll get the results. Bear in mind, this is the customized message that I could have customized even further, as I mentioned earlier. 
Uh, if anyone's wondering why this doesn't say CloudBot or Streamlabs, the reason is because I've upgraded my account to a Streamlabs Prime account. When you upgrade to Streamlabs Prime, you do get a lot more functions uh, for your for your money. It adds a hell of a lot of value, a lot more interactivity. And essentially what happens is I'm able to customize the name of that with a bot account that I've set up. I'll do a separate video on how to set, set that up. But if you are considering upgrading your Streamlabs account to a Prime Streamlabs account, please use my affiliate code below and that will get you money off. Uh, you literally save like 10 or $20 from your own purchase. So it's free money, basically. Hashtag ad. <laughs> right, okay. And, and, that's, and that's simply it. What will happen now is there'll be a countdown. I think it was 120 seconds. So that's the setting that I did. People have a chance to join it themselves and then there'll be a cooldown period and then eventually there'll be the automated messages that will show the results of the heist and if they've won any extra loyalty points. Uh, and that's literally it. That is quite literally how exactly you set up uh, the CloudBot module for Heist minigame. Uh, if you found this useful, drop it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe and do drop by my stream at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Otherwise, hope you've enjoyed this and take care. Cheerio.